Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about anatomy of dicot root. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment, and share my video. So when we talk about dicot root anatomy, we will find some layers. And the first layer is the outermost layer that is called epidermis and here you will see that some root hairs are found here so basically each cell of this epidermis can form the root hair but all cells will not form root hairs but some of them will form root hair and each root hair represents a single cell so it is the unicellular root hair. Next to epidermis, we can find this wide layer that is called cortex. So cortex contains several layers of cells. And do you know which type of cell is this? This is actually parenchyma cell. And here you can find many cells, many parenchyma cells are there and they have little intercellular spaces between the cells. Next layer is endodermis. So basically endodermis is the innermost layer of cortex. And here you can find a single layer of cells. This brown one is the endodermis. Only one single layer of cells is present here. And these are barrel shaped cells and they do not have any intercellular spaces between them and these endodermal cells have a special deposition of uh, a water impermeable waxy material that is called suberin in the form of Casparian strips. So endodermal cells have a special type of material that is called suberin that is wax like material. Next to the endodermis, we can find pericycle. So these yellow cells are pericycles. And the initiation of lateral roots and vascular cambium during the secondary growth takes place in these pericycle. Okay, and next to the pericycle, you can find vascular bundles. So vascular bundles, what are vascular bundles? Vascular bundles contain xylem and phloem. So two to four vascular bundles you can find. So in this picture, we can find one, two, three, four, four vascular bundles. And here we have phloem, xylem, phloem, xylem in this pattern. Now there are two types of xylem in this case, protoxylem and metaxylem. Protoxylem is the xylem that is formed first during the tissue formation and metaxylem is formed later during the tissue formation. And you can see that protoxylem actually it lies towards the periphery. So you can see I am highlighting this part. So protoxylem lies towards periphery and metaxylem lies towards the center. And this type of arrangement is called exarch. That means the protoxylem lies towards periphery and metaxylem is found towards the center. This type of special arrangement is called exarch. Then in, you can find conjunctive tissues. These green cells are conjunctive tissues. So you can find them between xylem and phloem just like this. Next is pith. So pith is just the central part. It is the center and in this dicot root the pith is very small and inconspicuous. Inconspicuous means that it's not very much distinct, not very much clear. And all the tissues uh, on the inner side of the endodermis that means first is pericycle then you can find vascular bundles then you can find conjunctive tissue and last the pith so all of them will uh, make the steel so this is all about today's lecture i think 
you understood the session